Now, it's great to keep it very simple. Resting as open intelligence for short moments many times. Effortlessly letting the data be as they are for short moments. You know, rather than contriving, trying to let anger be as it is, you just take short moments of letting your anger be as it is so that you get familiar with this open intelligence that is at the basis of the anger. You know, this is, very, this is totally experiential for you. So for me, I tested out short moments of letting everything be as it is. I wasn't trying to hold a special posture. I wasn't trying to do any special breathing techniques. I wasn't trying to reference all of what I'd learned before. I simply let everything be as it is. Like being on the best holiday and there was no more work to be done. Just for the briefest moment. Short moments can be likened to basking in the sun on the beach here in Goa. Where you're not you're just you're just laying there. Or taking a hot bath and relaxing. Now that's just kind of a to give you a sense of the underlying ease. Because when you're in your daily life and you're working and maybe you're angry and you're relying on short moments, it's not to try to cultivate feeling like you're in the warm bath or that you're on the beach. It's just to identify open intelligence as inseparable from anger. So for short moments, when the anger arises, you know, this is your practice. Let it be as it is, very, in a very uncontrived way. And then, you know, what I started to find was less and less fear about everything that I was experiencing. You know, I started to have courage to let everything be as it is, like anger. Rather, you know, my knee-jerk reaction to anger before was things like, you know, slamming doors or doing exercise to avoid it or replace it or simply running away from a situation that I knew I would feel anger. But through relying on the balance you training, short moments of letting anger be as it is, and then I'll mention a bit more about the, the support of balance you here in a moment, but re relying on open intelligence in the training, anger wasn't, it, it, the definition of anger started to lose its importance. You know, and then it just became like this energy, and not necessarily directing at any one person. And then I was able to choose in the moment whether or not I indulged in it. You know, I found I had a choice. I didn't have to immediately slam that door. You know, that took a lot of practice for me. <laughs> I think I've been slamming things since a young age, so it took a, a while for the, you know, the twitches and just to go for it to settle out. So I relied on the support of Balance You, the four mainstays, you know, like a, a sturdy four-legged chair for it to be more and more effortless. You know, at first it didn't feel effortless to let anger be as it was. However, I did recognize that open intelligence was effortless. You know, I don't have to make, do anything to recognize open intelligence. It's already present. <coughs> but that searing anger, you know, I feel tense, I create a story about it or whatever. So it's going to take some practice. So the four mainstays. The first one, short moments of letting it be as it is. Two, a trainer. Having a trainer to rely on, it's like, you know, if you want to climb Mount Everest, you'd want a guide. Most of us would. So, you know, somebody who has gone before us, who has tested out, who knows the route, who has experience, can share pitfalls that they've experienced, and just share the, the tips and the pith, the practical instructions, the important instructions. So I relied on my trainer a lot, you know, with very uncomfortable situations so that I didn't have to only just rely on short moments. And that was very helpful, you know, just to have someone to touch in with. You know, I'm you know, saying, I'm so angry, I don't know how to let it be as it is. What would you recommend? So a trainer is someone who can empower us to see that open intelligence is effortless. The anger is inseparable from this purely beneficial open intelligence. 
And then three, the trainings that balance you. It's good to read about our exalted state, about natural perfection. In our direct experience, things that really used to bug us, that we go for all the self-help methods so we can fix it, we suddenly find that we work by relying on short moments, they're not really an issue anymore. So, you know, in our experience, take note of what isn't such a distraction anymore. For me, not slamming doors, that was a huge accomplishment because it related to so many areas, it related to relationships, work, how I treated myself, how I treated others. And it just kept expanding and opening me up. And then the fourth mainstay is the community. Balance You is very unique because it, it is a, a worldwide movement of people saying, you know, I don't want to live in this way where I treat everything as positive and negative and, and continue on in the same conventional ways. We know that we need a solution. And we've tried so many things, and for me this is really working. So I like to spend my time with other people who are committed to letting everything be as it is, because it's, it's powerful, it empowers us. So it's hard to be angry in, in the Balanced View community, because somebody will just look at you with a loving look. A reminder, your anger doesn't have any power over you, unless you give it that power. So we'll always be reminded by our friends in the community that open intelligence is primary. This is our commitment. We're training up together so that we do start to see the beneficial results. <clears throat> you know, I can talk about how amazing it's been in my life, but it's really important that we all start to experience this. I don't try to control the anger anymore. It's it, by not giving it a description by resting as open intelligence, it's just another flow of experience. And for me, it just becomes this power to find a beneficial solution. It's not like if I watch the news and I see something that you know is not right, but I don't feel a, a surge of energy. But what do I do with that energy? Do, you know, you know, do I start cursing at the TV and cursing the people that are causing the issues, or do I relax for short moments? and ask myself, what can I do? You know, I can't necessarily jump on an airplane and go to this place and say, take short moments. <laughs> you know, what we do is we come together for those who are wanting to make a difference and we train up and then we do affect people. And we affect our immediate family and friends. We affect our local surroundings. I mean, it's when somebody sees another person who is stable and open and friendly and helpful in an authentic way, I mean, that's attractive. They see that that's possible for them. So it's not, it's not like rocket science or anything. It's like when you see somebody that has something you want, you're like, wow, look at him. He's, he's amazing. Look at him. He looks so stable in this very hectic situation. What is, what's his practice? 